John, what's up, man? How's it going? I've got a huge problem. This morning I woke up, my alarm, I had to go to work. It was horrible. Not the work, the alarm. Dude, this thing, it just beeps. <laughs> That's the point of an alarm, Dan. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is it's like 2005 and my alarm is just beeping. So I figured I'd take a break from hacking the Gibson and put together an alarm clock on my computer. Okay, no, 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 wait, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do the whole music thing, I'm gonna wake up to my music, yeah, that's really cool, man. Oh, come on, dude, you really think I'd do something that lame? It does play music, but it's way better than that. What, what do you do after you wake up? Coffee, breakfast. Email? Um, e oh, email, news. Dig, slash dot, you know, checking out. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, dude. so why not just lay in bed and listen to your RSS feeds? And what we're gonna do here with some Perl and some uh, VB script, we're gonna hack together a little uh, uh, batch file. That'll do this all for us, so, you know, play a little mp3 to wake us up, and then bam, get to lay in bed and listen. So, it's just some RSS. It's the awesome. listening part, I'm using the Microsoft Text-to-Speech Engine, all right. or you could use Festival on Linux or uh, Mac or whatever. Because so, TTS is built in .NET, so. Right. Right. Well, you know, it's built into Windows, and, and this will work on 98, 95, whatever. I mean, Sweet. If you still run 95, please. Just, just you know, I'm Move sure on. there's a Linux distro out there. So, we head over to Speech, and on Text-to-Speech... I've, I've downloaded uh, an additional voice, and Michelle, and she sounds, well, she sounds better than Microsoft way, Sam. Way better than Sam sounds horrible. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> I don't know why they even put that in there. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we've got the alarm batch file opened up here. All right. And, you know, it's good morning, and then it runs this Perl script. And what this Perl script does, and I've modified it a little bit, this is uh, RSS to HTML5, and it's going to download the RSS feed from Dig, and then append it to alarm.txt. So it just copies the RSS right. and... Right. It does the same thing to uh, the slash dot RSS feed and then appends it to here, you know, after saying these are the slash But hold on a second. When you get an RSS feed, you get XML. So you, no, get, you this, get all the nodes and stuff. What this Perl script is actually doing is converting it uh, to a format where um, it can actually be read by our text-to-speech engine. It's not actually HTML. I've kind of stripped the HTML. So, uh, and so it's all the tags just, out, so it's right. just text. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. That's really cool. So, you know, it goes through there and does boing boing, and then we delete any uh, alarm file that was there from the previous day, and then we run this awesome VB script that I found, text-to-wave, and, you know, you give it the text file that you want to convert, and then 35 is the option that makes it a 44.1 kilohertz uh, stereo 16-bit sound file, and a uh, wave. And then we delete the alarm text since we don't need that. And then we go ahead and start the alarm M3U. Now, the M3U is a really simple. Here we go. We've got, uh, I'll just type it. Yeah, I mean, that's just your basic M3U that's a playlist. And it'll run in iTunes and Windows Media Player and, and uh, Winamp, which is my favorite. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right. What I'm going to do is schedule it using at. So we'll schedule at at let's say uh, 6:30. But all this all this command line stuff can we do on the GUI? Or? Yeah, you can do the same thing you're doing in the command line just by heading mm -hmm. over to control panel and scheduled tasks and the same exact thing through the window. Yeah, the same way you do your music, but it's you can more just add some way. files. Cool. Yeah, it's really so cool. we're going to do it 6:30 every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we're going to run alarm. Access alarm dot bat. There we go. So it's scheduled. Let's go ahead and run it. Right. Alarm dot bat. So uh, making our announcements. It's got the RSS feeds. Yeah, creating the wave file. There we Pretty go. Pretty cool. Now it's scheduled. So right. So it's going to happen every morning. Exactly. That's important. And wake you up. Hey, you know, Love Shack will get you out of bed. But what you want to keep in mind is to make sure you change that song. Yeah. yeah. You can't be listening to the same song no, all the time. No, not at all. Yeah. Or else you'll end up hating the song. So I've gone ahead and given like 30 seconds of the Love Shack to wake me up. And then I'll head over to the RSS feeds. That's sweet, dude. That's yeah. really nice. I like that. Here we uh, go. Yeah, it's starting to fade out a little bit. You just do that with audacity. Top five stories from Pip this morning are Student arrested for threatening school with zombie invasion. What? And Kate the zombie invasion. Zombie invasion? Oh, we gotta watch I gotta, that. I gotta read that. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Kevin will talk about it. Dig. I hope so, dude. It sounds pretty cool, man. Anyway, you get the idea. It's not the greatest voice in the world, but it's a lot better than the default one that comes with oh, yeah. Windows. It's and, much better. Than you know, Sam's. you'll get used to it. Sam. So this will go ahead and wake you up in the morning with some RSS feeds. And you know, maybe after that, you'll check out the newspaper. If there's something you heard that you like, maybe it'll be in there.